pros and gems welcome back to our channel i'm so excited every time i come back and get on y'all tv screen and i welcome those who are new to my channel if you enjoy these video reviews please come back come back and click the bell so you're notified of future videos thank you guys so much for watching in this video we're going to be talking about bam the jamaican bounce hair now this is the hair that i am wearing in my hair right now i got so many compliments on this hair wherever i wear this hair i wear it in different styles i wear it in the heart shape down style i pin it up i clip it back i do different types of pin styles with it if you guys follow me across instagram you guys already saw how i've been rocking this hair and i absolutely love the qualities of this hair now i do have two different type of satin bonnets that i do wear with this hair which i will review in another video which i did talk about on my Instagram as well. A lot of times, a lot of things that I'm going to talk about on my channel, I already mentioned them or show them on my Instagram or I write about them on my blog channel. Be sure you guys are following my website at www.pinkpluralsglam.com because they're going to be random giveaways going on over there. For those who comment, you're going to be notified right there on the website as soon as you comment. Hey, can you shoot me your address so that I can mail you out a appreciation whatever i decide to sit out so be sure you are hanging out with me over there when i post go ahead and chat you can chat with me here chat with me there chat with me across social media the more you chat the more favor you get because that's just how we roll okay enough about that let's talk about this jamaican bounce hair so this Jamaican Mounds hair is by Urban Beauty Natural. It is a crochet style type of hair. It does come in several different colors. Now, the first time I put it in, you guys saw it, and I just had in the B1 hair. Now, the B1 hair was fabulous. I loved it. I love the way it felt. I love the way it looked on me. My husband loved it. He was just like, man, you know, when you want to do that natural look, instead of trying to get the natural look with my relaxed hair, which you guys probably saw a picture. Matter of fact, I'll post it here of me just doing a uh, twist up with my relaxed hair and kind of wanting it to stay shrunk like this and not fall long. But because I am relaxed, my hair tends to, you know, go back to straight mode. And I'm going to be honest, you know, I love my hair straight 99% of the time. And when I am going for the curly look, I would rather go ahead and wear a weave rather than try to curl my relaxed hair. And here's why. Whenever I find myself trying to manipulate a curl style with relaxed hair, I feel like my hair gets dry and it feels a bit, um, and the reason why I think it feels dry is because I'm trying to preserve the curl for a long time. And when I go to moisturize it, the certain type of way over a period of time, it just flops straight because the style is only going to be good for so long. So Essentially, I came to the conclusion that I need to just wear a weave when I want to have that more natural style look. So when I'm more towards the, almost like I'm transitioning, which I'm not, uh, texture hair, I go ahead and I kind of rock something like this, you know, for a protective style and to kind of give my hair a break. I don't really put a lot of heat in my hair, but when I do, I go in. So this also gives me a break from heat. You guys already know that. We don't have to talk too much into detail about that. I really, again, like the way it looks with my relaxed hair. So relaxed girls, don't be afraid to take a natural look and bring it to life in your relaxed hair because it will look just as fabulous and my hair look just as natural as anybody else you wouldn't even know that I'm a relaxed girl unless I told you so with that it says it gives you two time the value which it does because when you purchase this it comes this wide it doesn't come with two different colors it comes with the same color on both sides however you get two bundles so it is the Jamaican Bounce 100% Premium. And again, I did get color B1 and I did get color MT1B slash 350. And I'm going to show you those um, in a minute. This hair again is pre-looped. And that is pretty much how wide the loop estimated is. And it is easy installation. So yeah, it was easy. All you needed was to wash, cleanse your hair and to apply a bit of um, shampoo 
and conditioner and I showed you guys uh, stuff like that. I do have a recommendation video on how to treat and take care of you guys' hair, which I'll probably put in another video. So you guys stay tuned for that. I had the audacity to go ahead and uh, preserve some strands for the sake of a video. <laughs> and this is the hair texture. So this is how the hair looks right out of the package this is the b1 hair and you as you can see this is a bounce curl and this is a washed crochet hair um what i wish i would have did was not washed it where you could have seen that it looks just as it looks the same whether i washed it or not so when people say um, is it safe to wash this hair? Wouldn't it just knot up and all that? I actually like to wash the hair before I put it in because I feel like it gives it that weak wear um, look. But everybody says it just looks the same um, out of the pack, which in, in my opinion, I agree. But it does give it a little bit of wear. So it doesn't look too, too new, which I don't really like fake hair looking fake. I would like it to look real. So... Essentially, that is why I do that and for health and sanitary reasons, of course. So then we have the colored hair, which is so pretty. It's this, it's almost like a orangey burnt reddish with a blend of black in there, which is why it fits so well with this color. And then when you put these two pieces side by side, which I thought is just so cute, um, it just looks just like so of course you can see my hair but I just like how the brown peeks through in the hair and the hair is really really soft and a lot of people ask um does this hair um uh tangle easy I wouldn't advise you cutting the ends of it if you really like that Shirley Temple like look I think separating this hair maybe one to two times very fast just like so but even if you do get some uneven loops all you have to do is take your hand and kind of like just like run it through and everything will usually link back up where you can go ahead and go back in and you see the way it just kind of came back together instead of being so many different pieces and then only when I got towards the top did I do did I have to do this, and um, and that's only because I wanted to look a little bit more natural rather than having it really really big. The back I left it kind of hold, and I did use I think I told y'all three packs, and then when I threw the red in there, I think I used I stretched to have um, two packs of red in here, which you won't be able to tell because it's around my crown. Um, area and that's just because I just really liked it the way it looked and I like the way the different styles came out that I was using and I wanted it to look a certain way whenever I styled it so with that I thought the hair is really really good again I've had it in my hair for about a little over two weeks or so I am enjoying it and I plan to go maybe another week or two just depending on you know how I feel and how my scalp is feeling. I may go out, you know, a little bit longer. It depends. And then I'm going to just cut it out, wash, deep condition my hair, probably braid it back up and go back in again with it, you know, and probably till the end of the year. I haven't decided yet, but because I do have a lot of beauty product that beauty products that I did purchase that I do want to actually do styles with and show you guys. So with regards to the Jamaican bounce, the results are in. I highly recommend this hair. If you see it, pick it up. You can pick this up on Amazon. I will try to leave a link below if I find it, but I did get mine at my local beauty store. Shouts out to the lady who works there who actually recommended this hair. When I told her I was looking for a whole different type of hair, she was just like, oh, we don't, we, well, she, they did have it. They just didn't have the color I wanted it in. I think she said that the, they had just recently got an order in and it wasn't that brand nor was it any other color and she don't know if it's going to be on the order that just went out so i didn't want to have to wait because i needed my hair done like right then and then so she just said well you might like this hair and she kind of gave me a visual idea of an explanation of how the hair might look which was okay and she kind of sold me on the hair and when i tried it i was just like usually if i try hair and i don't like it 
I won't even pick it up and buy it, but or review it. But I have been, you know, saying I'm going to go ahead and try and review it for you guys. So that's what I'm doing. On the back, it shows you guys other styles and other types of hairs. This is this hair right here that they do sell in the same color. So both colors do still have an entire line of other uh, hair texture style. So they got the Havana Bounce. They got Senegalese Twist. They got Jamaican Braids. They got Senegal Loop Twist. And they have um, Senegalese 3x3 three three Jumbo. And then they have Box Braids. So the Box Braids is the hairstyle that um, my husband really, really wants me to try out. Well, that's what he initially wanted me to try before I went to this look. But I kind of told him that the braid look was something that I already did on my channel like two times. I did like a black and I did like a deep purple. But he really wanted me to go ahead and do some more braids in my hair, which I will do soon because I always say I'm going to braid my hair up and then I never actually get around to it. So whenever I told him I was doing a crochet, he was like, why don't you just crochet the braids in? And I was just like, you know what? You're right. So maybe in between wearing this conditioning and doing other product reviews, such as testing out other shampoos and conditioners that I want to bring to you guys for those who you know are interested in, in watching hair related videos i will be sure to throw that in there so you guys can get a kind of like a idea i like this um brand of hair so i may just go ahead because i saw other brands in the crochet box braid hair but because i do like this texture hair um in my head and i really like the way it feel and i like the way it wears and and how it looks when it starts to get old I may go ahead and try this brand in the box braid hair. And it was another one that I wanted to try out for you guys. I know I wanted to try the box braids. And I believe it was the Jumbo Havana. It was either the Jumbo Havana or the Senegalese Twist. I'll, I'll, I'll bring the reviews to you guys, but it will be from this brand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Again, if you guys see this product do check it out this hair is so cute and i really 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 like it i hope you guys enjoyed this review and i'll see you guys in the very next video don't forget to thumbs up if you've already tried this hair out leave that in the description when the discussion area below let us know how you felt about this hair and please don't comment crazy stuff in my comment section because i just delete it and then i end up blind blocking you across my social media website because I just, I don't want to deal with that. I mean, we're going to be mature ladies, you know, just, just be mature about it. We're going to act like we grown and I want you guys to, let's have a mature conversation about the hair. Don't be ratchet, you know, and all that other stuff. Just if you like the hair, you like it. If you don't say, Hey, I didn't like it X, Y, and Z and leave it at that. I don't own a brand. I don't make any money. This video isn't sponsored. So I mean, your opinion is your opinion, but it's just the way you speak to people and how you treat people online. And I would like, really would like you guys to be, you know, cordial. We're pearls and we're jewels, so I want us to act as such. Act ladylike. Act glamorous. Act, you know, I mean, you can be a little bougie with it, but it's just the way you... You carry yourself. It means a lot to me when I see you guys acting like mature adults. For those of you who know who I'm talking about, you know why I'm saying what I'm saying. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next video, you guys stay beautiful, stay glammed up. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye.